and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth john bare witness of him and cried saying this was he of whom i spake he that cometh after me is preferred before me for he was before me and of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace Israelites, it is imperative that you understand there are two messiahs. In order for you to distinguish between the two, you need the Holy Spirit to reveal this truth to you. The Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel is in the scriptures, but hidden. In order to find the humble Messiah, you have to study the scriptures with the Holy Spirit. If you read the scriptures like reading a book, you will never find Yeshua. The same way the Most High hide his chosen ones among the heathens. The workers of iniquity proclaim the Israelites, the northern tribes, are lost. The Most High know exactly where he places his people. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. The workers of iniquity definitely took crafty counsel against the hidden ones of the Most High. In addition, they have done the same to the Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The workers of iniquity buried the real Messiah through false doctrines coming from the pulpit of false prophets in the church. Anything that revealed the Messiah and the Most High, the synagogue of Satan has altered. They have removed everything exalting the Most High and raised their idols as supreme. Israelites, it is important that you do not accept the workers of iniquity's interpretation of the scriptures. Yah said they do not know him. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. The people who do not know Yah cannot speak on the behalf of the Most High, nor could they decode the words of the Most High. You need the Holy Spirit to reveal the affairs of the Most High. But God hath revealed them unto us. By his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. How can the workers of iniquity educate you about your Elohim when they do not have the spirit of the Most High? In addition, Yah told you they do not know him. The workers of iniquity cannot receive the spirit of the Most High. Therefore, they are disqualified from teaching the scriptures to the people of the Most High. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Israelites have the Spirit of the Most High. Through the Holy Spirit, you are connected to Yah. In order to serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth, the Holy Spirit has to guide you. By the Spirit of the Most High dwelling in you, your body becomes the temple that hosts the Spirit of the Most High. The building where you go and worship in religion do not house the Spirit of Yah. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. When you submit to the Holy Spirit, do you see how easily you can shut down the false doctrines from the church? The very doctrines the workers of iniquity used to enslave you to their altars? If the people of the Most High would have an ear to hear, they would not submit to the deadly doctrines of religion. The people would not waste time paying a building fund, especially if the building you are paying to have an encounter with the Most High is an evil altar erected to idols. 
The scripture said the things the workers of iniquity sacrificed, they sacrificed to devils, not to the Most High. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Throughout the scriptures, the Most High is exposing the workers of iniquity and their false doctrines. In order for the people of the Most High to discern, the Holy Spirit must reveal the truth to the people. Israelites who operate in the flesh will never see the Spirit of the Most High. Yah's Spirit will remain dormant in them until they begin to operate in the Spirit. The scripture said the flesh has nothing in common with the Spirit. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. Israelites, we have to let go of the church interpretations of the scriptures and allow the Most High to reveal His truth to us. Not too many people are aware that there are two messiahs. In order for Satan to get the worship he lusts after, he had to find a way to deceive the masses into worshiping him. Remember, Satan imitates the Most High. Satan does the opposite of what the Most High does. Religion have a form of godliness, but deny the power of the Most High. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. Through imitating the Most High, Satan is able to gain the worship he desire, also fulfilling the prophecy that reveal the dragon deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Many people are waiting for the great deception to happen. If you carefully read the scripture is said Satan deceived the whole world. The great deception already happened. The way Satan was able to deceive the world was by creating religion. In addition, inserting the false Messiah and his people, the workers of iniquity, into the scriptures. When the workers of iniquity replace the name of the chosen people Israelite with Jew, that is how they inserted themselves in the scriptures and stole our identity. The Most High changed Jacob's name to Israel, and Jacob's descendants are known as Israelites. The Most High always name a bloodline after the Father. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. The entire 12 tribes of Israel are not Jewish. Matter of fact, no tribes are Jewish. Judaism is a religion, not a bloodline. Israelites, you need to know that Jew do not stand for Judah either. The New Testaments and some parts of the Old Testaments refer to the entire 12 tribe of Israel as Jew. That is an alteration inserted into the scriptures by the workers of iniquity. By changing the name of the chosen people from Israelite to Jew, that is when our heritage was stolen. There are a few scriptures left in the Bible that refer to the people of the Most High as Israelite. And Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not one of the cattle of the Israelites dead, and the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. It is evident that the scriptures are altered. That is why you need the Holy Spirit to reveal the truth to you. Many other words were inserted into the scriptures to bring confusion and to further exalt Satan in the workers of iniquity. Satan used the word Gentile to establish religion. By doing this, he can change the audience to whom the scriptures are addressing. The kingdom of darkness used Christianity to include the non-Israelites into worshiping Satan. When the workers of iniquity inserted the word Gentile into the scriptures, the workers of iniquity changed the audience from the Israelites to all people. For example, the book of James, 
open up addressing the 12 tribes of Israel that are scattered. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Religion want you to believe James' letter is speaking to all people. The workers of iniquity strategically inserted Gentile into certain scriptures to make it seem as if the scriptures are speaking to all people. Yahshua, the Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yahshua sent his disciples in pairs to teach his people, the Israelites, among the heathens. Yahshua did not send his disciples to all people. These twelve Jesus set forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Hebrew scrolls are letters and prophecies the Most High made our ancestors write down to educate the future generations of the twelve tribe of Israel of their heritage. In addition, how to serve the Elohim of Israel in the spirit and in truth. The workers of iniquity stole our scrolls, changed them to their liking, and started religion. Now that you have seen for yourself how the kingdom of darkness used the synagogue of Satan to alter both the Old and New Testaments, it is time that we analyze the two messiahs. Israelites, the Most High did send a messiah to help his people. The messiah sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel is a humble servant for the Most High. Yahshua never exalted himself above the Most High. He understood that he came to fulfill what was written about him. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures. The scriptures inform us that the world reject the Messiah that came in the Father's name. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Yeshua revealed to us in John 5 and 43 that another Messiah will come and the people will receive him. Whom did the world accept, highly praise and worship in religion? Yahshua was about his father's business. He did not ask the people to worship him. Yahshua said he did not come to be served, nor to be worshipped. He came to give his life for his people and to lead the lost sheep of the house of Israel to the Father. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. After Yahshua fasted for 40 days, he was led into the wilderness to be tempted. Satan tried to get the humble Messiah to sin. Satan tried to get Yahshua to worship him by giving him all the kingdoms of this world. Satan also tried to get Yahshua to test the Most High. Yahshua was swift to rebuke Satan. And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Every time Satan tried to get Yahshua to exalt himself above the Most High, he would never cross the boundaries. Everything Yahshua did, he did to exalt the Most High and gave all the glory to the Most High. We all know that the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob do not share his glory with no one. 
The Most High said he would not give his praise to graven images. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. The first commandment of the Most High said there should be no other gods before me. The second commandment say that we should not worship any graven images. The scriptures warn us not to make any graven images of anything in the sea or above the sea, the angels, nothing. The scriptures went on to command us not to bow down to those images. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Religion has an image circulating around the world of what they believe is the Messiah. Religion goes against what the scriptures decree. The beast system exalted religion above the words of the Most High. Remember, Satan wants to exalt himself higher than the Most High. Religion give him the gateway to accomplish his lustful desires. The world has bowed down to the image of the beast and worshiped Satan through the false Messiah the beast system has exalted above the Elohim of Israel. The disciples of the false Messiah are workers of iniquity carrying out the will of the kingdom of darkness. The Messiah the world accepted and worship is lawless. The workers of iniquity teach that the false Messiah that came in his own name, Jesus, has fulfilled the law. The scriptures do not support such claims. Yeshua said he came to fulfill what was written about him. The false Messiah said he came to fulfill the law. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Religion teach that the laws are done away. Since the false Messiah abolished the laws, there is no need for him to die for the world. Everyone should know by now that John 3.16 is speaking to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The scriptures reveal not to love the world or anything in the world. In addition, if you are a friend to the world, you're an enemy to the Most High. The Most High would not send his Messiah to die for the world, a world who do not know him. Yah sent Yahshua to his people. The church worshiped the lawless Messiah that came in his own name. Yahshua, the humble Messiah, said in Matthew 4 to worship the Father. And saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. The church worshiped and served the false Messiah that came in his own name. The Messiah religion had deemed the savior to the world is Satan in disguise, the very image of the abomination of desolation. Remember, Satan wants to be like the Most High. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. The only way Satan can be like the Most High is if he take on the persona of the Most High. Satan did just that through the false Messiah that came in his own name. The church deemed the false messiah as God in the flesh. Once again, the scriptures do not support such claims. Yah said no one could see him and live. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. The human body cannot hold all the essence that make the Most High who he is. If anyone have ever been in the presence of the Most High, he or she would know to stay in the raw presence of the Most High will cause you to pass out. The glory of the Most High is too much for you to bear. When the Holy Spirit poured into me after receiving the message, my body is drained. Anyone who have ever experienced being in the glory of the Elohim of Israel will understand what I'm saying. Yah's glory is beyond comprehension that our earthly body cannot handle it. Yah had to hide Moses between the rocks and allow him to see only his back. And it shall come to pass, while my glory passeth by, 
that I will put thee in a cleft of the rock, and will cover thee with my hand while I pass by, and I will take away my hand, and thou shalt see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. Did you hear the scripture? It was the Most High's glory that passed by. Yah had to hide Moses between the rocks. Could you imagine standing in the presence of the Most High in all of his glory? During the time of our ancestors, when the Most High was accepting animal sacrifices, only the high priest could enter the Holy of Holies. No one else was permitted to enter. The Ark of the Covenant symbolized the glory of the Most High. When Uzzah touched the Ark of the Covenant, he died. And when they came to Nachin's threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to the Ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God smote him there for his error. And there he died by the Ark of God. No one could see the Most High and live. The glory of the Most High is out of this world. The Elohim of Israel is not what the church made him to be. It is important that you seek him for yourself to get a better understanding of who he is and his whole essence. Religion do not know the Most High. Religion does a horrible job of trying to teach the ways of the Creator they do not know. Many people are deceived into believing they are serving the Elohim of Israel. Instead, they are serving idols in religion. Israelites and strangers, it is time that you come out of her. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. The false Messiah is known to the world as a Jew. The people the Most High chosen and named after their father Jacob are Israelites. The word Jew was inserted into the scriptures. In addition, Judaism is a religion. The Israelite heritage is a bloodline, not a religion. You cannot convert to the Israelite heritage. The scriptures inform us that Yeshua would descend from the lineage of David out of the tribe of Judah. Judah is one of Jacob's son by Leah. The Most High called his people Israelite. Therefore, Yahshua, the Messiah sent to his people, the lost house of Israel, is an Israelite that comes from the tribe of Judah. The Israelite heritage has no affiliation with the religion called Judaism. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me. Unto him ye shall hearken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Yeshua said his kingdom is not of this world. If his kingdom were of this world, his servants would fight for him. The scriptures went on to reveal that his servants would not allow him to be delivered into the hands of the Jews. If Yeshua were a Jew, he would be happy to be delivered into the hands of his people. His people would have accepted him and welcomed him. Instead, they treated him like an outsider. They hang him on a tree. Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priest have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. The Messiah religion has exalted was born December 25th. The Messiah that is supposed to be the most high in the flesh is the only deity with a birthday. Man made the decision to celebrate a graven image on December 25th. If religion is making up days to celebrate a deity that the scriptures did not reveal the exact date of birth, what else are they making up? What else are they lying about? Why do the people accept a lie? Who can decree a thing and have it happen if the Most High did not decree it? Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not? Israelites, the Most High should have the final say. In addition, only the Most High should order your steps. The Most High never in the scriptures said to worship his so-called son December 25th. 
nor did the Most High say to celebrate his resurrection in the form of Easter egg hunting. How does colorful eggs and a bunny rabbit help your faith? Just like the fat white man that comes down a chimney to deliver gifts. Nothing but lies and many welcome these lies. Israelites, the Most High said he's the beginning and the end, the first and the last. There is never a time that he did not exist. Therefore, the deity that is highly celebrated every December 25th is not the Most High, nor does he represent the Most High. He is an idol. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Satan is the father of lies. Israelites, if the church was teaching the word of the Most High, they would never discourage you from reading the entire Bible. In addition, they would not condition you to believe the old covenant is fulfilled. An everlasting covenant cannot expire. Why would any servant of the Most High discourage the people from reading the Old Testament? The workers of iniquity will never teach the Bible in its entirety. If they do, it would expose their false doctrines. How can you teach the word of Yah and leave out the entire Old Testament? In addition, the missing manuscripts, the workers of iniquity left out of the Bible. When the time comes for the Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel to gather his people, he will say to those who accepted the lawless Messiah, Depart from me, I never knew you. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. The Most High do not know them because religion teach the false Messiah that come in his own name. This Messiah has declared himself as God in the flesh. Of course, the Most High do not know them. Matthew 7 verse 22 revealed that there are two Messiahs. Yeshua said many would come and say, I prophesied in your name, cast out devils in your name, and did many great works in your name. Nevertheless, Yeshua would say to them, I never knew you. These people know and worship the lawless Messiah that came in his own name, the Messiah whose image is accepted by the world. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? Israelites, if you take the time to allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you, in addition, giving the Most High an opportunity to reveal His truth to you, everything that you want to know about the world you live in, Yah would reveal to you. However, you have to serve the Most High His way. The Most High want His people to serve Him in the Spirit and in truth. Israelites do not serve the Most High according to the traditions of men. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. It is important to examine the scriptures to find the Messiah that came in the Father's name. The true Messiah is a humble servant. Never did Yahshua ask the people to do what they're doing now, living a lawless life. Many people are far from the Most High and they have been deceived to be serving the Most High. Let go of man's traditions. Let go of the precepts of men. Let go of the beast system. Let go of the ways of this world. In order to find the Most High, you have to seek Him with all of your heart and mind. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find Him, if thou seek Him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. When the people of the Most High look to him with a pure heart, they will find him. Israelites, let the Holy Spirit be your teacher and guide. You will be able to discern the scriptures better if you humble yourself. The Holy Spirit will fill in the missing pieces that the synagogue of Satan have removed and altered in the scriptures. The humble Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel is there. Do not let religion cause a separation between you and the Elohim of Israel. Israelites, look to the Father for everything. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God. 
the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Lord sent a word into Jacob, and it hath lighted upon Israel.